Hey guys, this is Ahmad Rusk here and welcome to a MATLAB Basics for Beginners course. In this video I want to answer your most important questions. What is MATLAB and what are the capabilities of this software? MATLAB stands for Matrices Laboratory. It's a high performance language for technical computing. It integrates computation, visualizations, programming and building algorithms in an easy to use environment. It is different than any other programming because MATLAB is mostly for mathematics and it uses the programming by matrices, which means any data in MATLAB is on a matrix form, even a scalar value like 1 or 5, it's a matrix of size 1 times 1, and we will cover that through this course. MATLAB is used in academia, so if you are doing a research, most probably you will use MATLAB. It's also used in different engineering fields, economics, finance, and so on. With MATLAB, you can import and analyze data, solve mathematical problems thanks to its huge mathematical capabilities, you can code programs and build algorithms. The MATLAB system consists of five main parts. Number one, the MATLAB language. This is a high-level matrix array language with control flow statements, functions, data structures, input, output, and object-oriented programming features. Number two, the MATLAB working environment. This is a set of tools and facilities that you work with as a MATLAB user or programmer. It includes facilities for managing the variables in your workspace and importing and exporting data. It also includes tools for developing, managing, and debugging. Number two, handle graphics. This is a MATLAB graphics system. It includes high-level commands for two-dimension and three-dimensional data visualization, image processing, animation and presenting graphics. It also includes low-level commands that allow you to fully customize the appearance of graphics as well as to build complete graphical user interface on your MATLAB applications. Number four, the MATLAB Mathematical Function Library. This is a vast collection of computational algorithms ranging from elementary functions like sine, cosine, sum, and complex arithmetic to more sophisticated functions in mathematics. Number five, the MATLAB Application Program Interface or API. This is a library that allows you to write C and Fortran programs that interact with MATLAB. In order to download MATLAB, we use the MathWork website. So go to mathworks.com, select the MATLAB product, scroll down. There are three options here, whether to get a free trial for 30 days, and I think this period is enough for you to complete this course, if you will spend the majority of the time watching the course. The second option is to buy the complete software and if you are a student MATLAB will provide a discount for you. But make sure to check first if your university is providing the MATLAB software for free. Before taking this course you have to make sure that you have a good mathematical background. So I want you to check the elementary mathematics using MATLAB section, read the lecture's titles. This is the level you need to be at in mathematics. Also you need to be familiar with matrices and arrays. Keep watching the free tutorials because in the next video I will talk about the ILOs of this course. I will also explain the course structure and give you my advice for taking the most out of this course. Thank you for watching and happy learning.